Today we are doing the final review video of the Safari cat comb and it looks like this. And um, this is hard because Charlie and Trig really hate to be combed. Um, so it's hard to hold the camera in one hand and comb in the other, but I'm going to give it a go. Overall though, um, I really, really like, like this flea comb. I get their manes a lot. Um, they keep getting their manes stuck in their mouth, which is driving me crazy. So, um, I, I have this on my kitchen counter and I just run it through their manes as fast as I can because, you know, they don't like... Um, to be combed. So what I like about this comb is you can see that there's different level heights of tines so this stuff can get the longer um, hair and then like the undercoat and then all the ragdolls don't have undercoats um, and then this can get the other shorter hair. So um, think. I don't think I've mentioned this. We just did the Safari flea comb, the double-sided plastic flea comb, last week, that review. Um, and, oh, you gotta get it! This is, that's the stuff I like to get, this, that stuff right there. Um, and they, um, what was I gonna say about the Safari flea comb? Oh, the reason that I even reached out to Coastal Pet Products who make the Safari line is because um, I had done a blog post on Floppy Cats about uh, grooming tools, cat grooming tools, what people like to use and that sort of thing. And someone mentioned the Safari line and that they had a number of their combs and brushes and stuff like that. So um, I, of course, went to their website looked for them and found them. He's really not minding it right now. Is that the deal? I just need to get you when you're sleeping? It's like a kitten when you're first cutting their claws or something, Bubbers. Oh, you can play with that? <laughs> um, oh, here we go. This is what we do when we with comb. So usually like I'll use one hand to hold his head back and then I, I'd brush him with the other. Um, Bobby, no! That crap on you right there. <laughs> this is also great for taking out mats. Um, okay, now back to what I was saying. The Safari comb, somebody said that they really liked, and then so I reached out. No, you cannot go anywhere with doing the videos. Um, and then, ironically, shortly thereafter, um, I was picking up Murphy from having a dental and um, I saw that my vet had a bunch of the Safari line um, for sale and my vet is an all cat vet. They only see cats. They don't see any other domestic animals and um, they've been in Kansas City for, I don't know, 30 years maybe more. Um, so. The, the lady that owns the vet has been seeing cats for that long. So for her to have this in her vet um, said a lot to me. And because, she, first of all, she doesn't have much of a product space. See, he does like his main done. Um, so she's got to be selective in what she wants to put up there. And um, when I saw this comb, I was like, ah, it must be a hit. The only improvement that I would suggest to uh, Safari or Coastal Pet Products would be a um, silicone or type of handle and, the re and, and possibly even a longer one. And the reason I say that is just because I would love to throw this in the dishwasher, but I'd be worried about the, the wood um, getting bad over time. So... And the reason I'd want to put it in the dishwasher is um, for fleet pr flea purposes so that you can wash all that stuff off. Um, and 
But the the wooden handle is not a big deal at all. I mean, it's very comfortable, um, and I, I haven't had any issues with it. <laughs> but we can get your ear hairs. Get your ear hairs. <laughs> oh, I'm going to kill it. I'm going to kill it. But we got to kill it. Teague, you want to be brushed for a little bit? Bubble Franks. So this is one of these pet products that I am going to keep around. Um, he totally got my finger right there. I'm going to keep around. It's going to be in a drawer that's easy to access um, for me because I want, you know, just to get their roughs um, cleaned up really quickly. <laughs> Sometimes their manes are a little bit on the rough side, and when I'm taking a photo for Facebook, for example, I don't want them to look like that, so I need something quick to grab, and this is great for that. Um, and I also, like, I, I seem to do better with combs <laughs> than I do with brushes with the cats, so um, that is another reason why. So if you go to cat shows and do the cat show thing, then tell us about if you use this comb and why you like it or why you don't. Why you haven't tried it. Hey, hey, watch the, like, watch the epidermis, my friend. Watch it, man. Watch it. Watch it, ladies. This is my very badly stained 1940s basement floor. I always have to say that so that people don't tell me how dirty my floor is. Teague. Oh, Teague. Faint Teague. Your coat's looking a little rough, my friend. I don't need ask me more. So Trig, Trig's even harder to brush sometimes just because he doesn't like to stay stationary for very long. Um, He's like my little um, Mexican jumping bean. He, he'll jump in the middle of anything. It's hilarious. Um, so that's why, since I can only use one hand, we're only doing Charlotte today. But the comb has worked out great on both cats. Bub is your name, Charlie. People call you Charlie. Or do they call you the Bubbies? Ah, oh, they call you the Bubbies. Bum! I'm getting him and I'm Bubbies. And then get him and Bubbies. Bub, you are being like awesome right now. Way more tolerant. But look at the tail. The tail tells it all. Bub. <laughs> down, boy, down. Bub, why are you so funny, kitty? Bub, because I like you. All right, so I'm going to include a link in the description below where you can buy, buy this bad boy on Amazon. Safari Cat Comb. Comes in this little packet.